मेडिको घराना इंजीनियरिंग ड्रीम्स अनएक्सपेक्टेड वेल नॉट फॉर आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर ही लवस फुटबॉल फॉलोज क्रिस्टियानो रोनाल्डो इंजॉयज ड्रॉइंग एंड प्लेज क्रिकेट अ जेंटल रिमाइंडर दैट टॉपर्स डोंट हैव टू गिव अप ऑन देयर पैशन जस्ट प्रेस पॉज एंड रिलीज वेन एवर नीडेड मीट आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपर अदवय मयंक ऑल इंडिया रैंक थर्टी सिक्स इन जे ई एडवांस्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव Hi Adway congratulations thank you tell us a little bit about yourself and your family so i am adway i like you introduced me my mother is a doctor but i chose to go for engineering uh, because i like maths a lot okay and uh, my father is also an engineer okay so that's also been a reason okay do you have any siblings i have a younger brother he's in the 6th grade Okay are you also inspiring him to take up engineering yet well not not nothing so much. right now no no pressure on him right yeah. now okay so you said your father is an engineer uh, is that the inspiration that you drew or did you decide for yourself because you love maths and that's how the motivation came I mostly came from. decided for myself for yourself okay and uh, your mother's a doctor did that ever influence your decision that hey maybe i can consider medical uh, no not really never like no. not even minutely well i might have considered it but it was not my a serious uh, passion thought. or calling okay uh, apart from studies what other hobbies we know you're a sports enthusiast you like football you like cricket but any other hobbies or interests or passions that you have oh uh, i like playing uh, video games also <laughs> and good, i good like one. drawing as well okay what kind of drawings do you usually draw uh it varies uh, painting sketches etc okay that's quite interesting like you have a bit of creative bend you also have sports and then you love maths and now you are 36 rank all india in in engineering how was how was the first real time reaction that you had when you saw the result well i didn't see i just woke up and my mother told me that i got that rank oh. and i was quite happy about it so basically you're trying to tell us that you slept well a night before your result was oh, coming no, out i didn't sleep well the result came uh, before the expected, expected time. time oh so it was a surprise to you it then it was so when your mother told you that okay uh, beta you've got this and you got 36 what did you feel did you believe it or do you you thought you I were still dreaming i did believe it because i knew my marks and i was expecting somewhere around that run yeah so you were confident about yeah it. i was because i knew my marks all right well you've done very well in this uh, examination i'm sure the students who are watching you would love to know they'll be curious to know what your preparation strategy was like could you break it down for us subject wise maybe sure uh, subject wise yeah. if i say physics it's like my favorite subject so i actually as an interest did study some physics before entering 11th grade okay but uh, in when i started to prepare seriously i would read uh, the theory very thoroughly and that was my strongest point in preparation to know the concept well okay that's good that's yeah. that's good to know any advice you would want to give to the future aspirants advice would be to uh, stay confident uh, be patient and consistent and uh, the results will follow that's actually uh, very beautifully put because uh, not just for you know exam preparation it's it's a good philosophy for life you should remain confident you should remain focused and believe that you can do this right yeah um are there like all journeys that we have in our lives there are some ups and there are some downs were there any difficult days during your preparation journey there were difficult days uh, for example i would score less marks and quite less sometimes so th- those were the difficult days and there were good days as well when i would score good marks on tests so these are the ups and downs that are so on the days where you felt okay today is it's challenging for me was there any a go to person that to whom you went who instantly you know made the positivity come back into your life well, there are a lot of people uh, that my parents of course yeah. the teachers my friends yeah all of these people they would encourage or like just talking to somebody will help me so you you would say that you had a strong support system yeah good circle around you i do that's important okay. right okay wonderful uh how has your experience at akash been it has been good uh as you said it i had a strong support system a strong set of peers who were competitive so it was a good experience okay now if you had to summarize your journey in three words what words would you choose 
I would say uh, focus, consistency, mm-hmm. maybe I would say uh, perseverance. That's a very thoughtful, uh, very thoughtful response. Must say that. Thank you so much, Adve, for being here with us today and telling our students what it takes to go out there and achieve. You've done very well. Congratulations and wishing you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you. With sharp focus, disciplined habits, and a mind that does not crumble under pressure, Adve's story tells us that you don't need chaos to create greatness. All you need is clarity and consistency. After all, all India ranks are not made by overworking, they are made by outthinking. <laughs>